hi guys welcome back to a new video of easy tutorials and today in this video we will learn how to make a full screen toggle menu on html and css website as you can see on my computer screen here is the full screen menu that i will create in this tutorial i have added beautiful hover effect on these menu and there is very light color text in the center that makes it more attractive when i click on the close icon it will remove the menu and you can see the website and when I click on the menu icon, then again full screen menu will come down from the top and it will cover the complete website. We will learn to make this full screen menu and toggle option using HTML, CSS and simple JavaScript. So don't skip this video and keep watching till the end. Before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe Easy Tutorials YouTube channel if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. First you can see we have this web page that we have already created in the previous video. If you have not watched this video then you can find the video link in the description. On this website we have created the navigation menu on the top right corner. So we will convert this menu style to the full screen menu. Here are the files that we have created in the previous video. Now I have added two icons in this folder which is menu icon and cross icon. Let's come to the code editor. Here you can see we have added this code to create navigation menu. So we will convert its design to the full screen. So let me come to the CSS file and you can see we have added the CSS code for the navigation menu. So these are the code that is written for the menu. So let me remove it from here and I will add it at the bottom so that there will be no confusion. So I am adding it here, before that I will add just a line and here is the all the code for the navigation menu. So right now you can see the navigation menu display was inline block and margin so let me comment it, we don't need this code. And in the anchor tag you can see we have this color, font size and padding, let me comment this also. And this hover effect we don't need so we will create another hover effect so let me remove it now let me come back and you can see on the website we have this menu like this it is in vertical style let me copy this nav right here and uh, here we will write Position it will be absolute and width it will be 100% and height 100 vh so that it will cover the complete website. Then background will be black and z index 2. Top will be 0 and left also 0. Let's refresh the web page and you can see the background is black and there is a menu in the left corner. So let's come back here in the CSS file here we will write display flex and align items center justify content it will be center and text align center so that our menu will be in the center like this. Let's come back in the CSS file and here we will add margin and now you can see some space between these menu and for this anchor tag we will add font size it will be 40 pixel and color will be white and some padding then I will add letter spacing it will be 5 pixel and that's it let's reload the web page now you can see big size of menu let's come back and let me remove this comment because we don't need this code here Simply copy it then write after and here we will write content it will be empty. Then height it will be 3 pixel and width 100%. Then I will add background of this color and position will be absolute. So now you can see there is a line so we have to position this line so here we will write bottom it will be 0 and left it will be 0 and in this a tag we will add position relative so that you can see this line is coming at the bottom of each menu 
Next we have to hide these lines so it will be visible when we take cursor over any menu. So let's come back and copy and paste it here. Here we will write hover and in this hover we will write width 100% and by default it will be 0 so here I will change it to width 0. Let's reload the web page. Now you can see all the lines are hidden and when I take cursor it display the bottom line. So next we have to add some transition and here we will add transition width 0.5 seconds and now you can see these lines are coming from the left to the right. So this hover effect looks beautiful. Next we will add one text in the center in the very light color. For that we will come back in the HTML file and after this ul here we will add one text in p tag. I am writing menu and for this p we will add one class name so that we can easily design this. So I am adding the class name light text and uh, right now you can see this text is here in the center. So let's come back and here we will write this class name in the CSS file and for this one we will write color and font size then letter spacing and opacity will be 0.1 position absolute left top and transform translate font weight will be 800 and z index minus 1 that's it now you can see this is the text in the background So after adding this we will add one close icon so let's come back in the html file and here we will write one img source and the file name which is cross.png let me add one class name also so I am adding the class name close icon just copy this class name and we will come back in the css file. For this close icon we will set the width and uh, position will be absolute right 80 pixel and top 50 pixel cursor will be pointer so that you can see this close icon right here in the right top corner next we have to hide this so that we can see the actual website so in this nav we will add display none so it will be hidden and you can see the website right so that we can add one menu in this corner so let's come back and here uh, in this navbar div we will add one image here I am adding the another image menu.png and the class name is menu icon let's copy this class name and come to the CSS file here we will write the class name and for this one also we will set the width and cursor will be pointer that's it reload the web page and you can see this icon in the top right corner next we have to add click event on both the icon so let me remove this and uh, right now you can see this close icon. So just come back in the HTML file. For this image we will write on click equals and one function which is close menu. Similarly we will add this function in the menu icon also. So here I am adding the same thing and I will change the name open menu. That's it. Next we will write the small js for this one. So so let's come to the bottom before this closing body tag we will write a script open and closing tag and next we have to create one id for the navigation menu so let's come here in the nav and here we will add one id so in the id i am writing menu just copy this menu and come back in the script and here we will write where menu equals document dot get element by id and the same id next we will write the function and let's copy the function name which we have written here paste it here so in this function we will write this menu dot style dot top and the top it will be minus 100 vh that's it once we will click on the close icon it will change the top of navigation menu by minus 100 vh so let's see here if i click here it will hide the navigation menu similarly we have to add click event on menu icon so let's come back in the code again and just copy this one and let me duplicate this and paste the new function 
which is open menu that's it and here we will change it to zero next we have to add some transitions so we will come back in the css file and in this nav we will add transition one second that's it now refresh the web page and you can see this menu right here if i click on the close icon this menu will go up so right now you can see the menu is appearing and disappearing very smoothly with this close and menu icon and this hover effect is also nice right now you can see when i refresh the web page only menu is coming the website is not coming so the first website should come so let me come back in the css file and here you can see we have added top zero so instead of zero we will write minus 100 vh that's it now refresh the web page and you can see by default the website will be visible and if i click on the menu icon the menu will come from the top to down and when i click on close icon it will hide the menu so this is how you can easily create full screen menu with animation and this hover effect i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for watching this video till the end